Hi Sturdy Women, I hope you're having a good week. I hope you're feeling good in your body. Today, I wanna talk about how I started my lipedema journey about three years ago and how it actually started with venous insufficiency and a couple vein surgeries. Before I get into that though, if you're new, go ahead and click subscribe below. Make sure that you get notified every time I put up a new Sturdy Woman video. And if you find any of the content on this channel helpful, go ahead, make sure that you like it, share it with a woman who might need it so that we can all raise more awareness of all the great things you can do to live a good life with lipedema. So I'm not a medical professional. You should work with your medical team to decide what's best for you, but this is what happened with my lipedema and how I started to figure out what was going on. It actually started as an ache in my knee um, sometime in early 2020, and it was an ache that wouldn't go away. I couldn't stretch it, heat, cold, rest, elevation, nothing seemed to make a difference. Um, and, and over time it started to affect my mobility. Um, that knee became very weak and I had to hold the railing going up and down the stairs. I never knew if it was gonna give out on me. Even though I weighed 300 pounds, I was a spin instructor. And I was very careful when I was getting on and off the bike not to use my left leg because I just didn't know if I could depend on it to support my body. Well, I didn't go to a doctor because I was raised by strong Midwestern parents who believe that you can walk off anything. You got a, an ache, a pain, or whatever, you're gonna be fine, just walk it off. Um, also, as a person who had been overweight their entire life, doctors were not my friends, and I imagined that if I went to a doctor, they were just going to say, well, of course your knee hurts, fatty. Like you weigh 300 pounds, go lose some weight and then come back and we can talk about your knee. Well, three or four months into this achiness, I went for my annual physical and the woman was so thorough. She would not stop asking me questions. Is there anything else wrong? Is there anything else wrong? And finally, I thought to tell her about my knee. It hadn't even occurred to me to mention. Um, and I said, you know, right on the inside of my knee, I have this really strange pain and I, you know, sometimes my knee gives out. She writes it down, leaves the room, comes back with the doctor, and he doesn't even look at it, he just goes vein doctor. Here's a referral, go to a vein doctor. Oh my God, I was so annoyed. I thought for sure I needed physical therapy and I felt so angry and dismissed. Went home, put the referral in like a desk drawer, had no intention of ever going. Um, thankfully, a couple months later, I found it, decided I had time in my schedule and I might as well go. Um, so I went to Vein Clinics of America and I had an ultrasound done on my left leg, which was the one that was bothering me. And they said, oh my gosh, your veins are horrible. I didn't have any like obvious varicose veins or, or anything that would have made me think I had vein problems, um, but they did the ultrasound and they said, honestly, you're in your 30s. You have the veins of someone in their 60s or 70s. We've never seen someone your age with veins this bad. Good news, we can help you. Um, I had two ablations uh, on the greater saphenous vein in that leg, and then I had multiple rounds of sclerotherapy injections to clean up the other smaller veins that were causing problems. Um, the fortuitous thing that happened while I was there is that I met a doctor who has lipedema herself. And that is the only reason that I got diagnosed. I went in for my vein problems and she said, I have to tell you something that's going to explain everything. Um, and she was the one who told me about lipedema and sent me on this journey. Um, my vein surgery was life changing, at least for me. Um, my left leg, the one I had the surgeries on was my lymphedema leg. So at the time I was diagnosed, my left leg was several inches larger than my right leg. 
and that's because of all the swelling. After I had the procedures, that swelling resolved very quickly. I was shocked. Um, I walked out of the office feeling good, went for a walk that night, continued to walk. Yes, I had a really significant amount of bruising because it was a vein procedure, but the swelling, the change in my energy, the immediate improvement in my mobility, it was shocking. Um, and I now look back and I can't believe how scared I was to have it done and how much I considered not even doing it. Um, I'd never had any kind of surgery before in my life and it just seemed really scary. So, uh, venous insufficiency and a weird pain in my body is what led me on this whole journey that has now brought me here with you tonight. So, if something doesn't feel right in your body, keep talking until someone listens. Um, and venous insufficiency is something that very often is also found with lipedema and lymphedema. When our lymphatic system is struggling, our circulatory system rallies and tries to help out. Over time, it gets tired and worn out too. Listen to your body. If doctors treat you like shit, just find different doctors. You deserve to be taken care of. You deserve to feel great and have a good life. If you want more information, if you're looking for things to support you on your journey, head over to sturdywoman.com. I've got a lot of great stuff for you over there, including this week I put up some gorgeous new tote bags that are lipedema positive, body positive, um, and would be great to give yourself for Valentine's Day. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.